In a serene village nestled between rolling hills and lush forests, there lived two frogs named Squeaky and Croaky. They were not only the best of friends but also known throughout the village for their boundless enthusiasm and love for adventure. Every day, they would hop around the ponds, explore the meadows, and engage in endless conversations about life. One bright morning, while hopping near a tranquil pond, Squeaky and Croaky stumbled upon an awe-inspiring sight, a beautifully carved statue of Buddha, made entirely out of pure, creamy milk. It was situated atop a small pedestal, surrounded by a shallow pool of milk. Villagers would come here to offer their respects, believing that the statue held the power to bring good luck and blessings. The frogs were amazed by the intricate details of the statue and the calm aura it exuded. They decided to sit by the statue and observe its magnificence. As they settled, they noticed that the milk pool surrounding the statue was so still that it reflected the image of the Buddha perfectly. Mesmerized, they couldn't help but wonder about the serenity that the statue seemed to radiate. Just as they were lost in their thoughts, a mischievous bird flying overhead accidentally dropped a ripe fruit into the milk pool. The fruit created a big splash, causing ripples to spread across the previously calm surface. Squeaky and Croaky watched as the ripples danced and twirled, distorting the reflection of the Buddha. They observed with fascination as the milk, once stirred by the fruit's impact, gradually settled down. The ripples subsided, and the milk returned to its calm, reflective state. As the milk surface smoothed out, the reflection of the Buddha became clear once again. The two frogs sat there, gazing at the milk pool and the statue, lost in deep contemplation. After a while, Squeaky broke the silence and said, Croaky, did you see that? Even though the milk was disturbed, it found its way back to calmness. Just like the ripples in the milk, our lives can be tumultuous at times, but eventually, the turbulence subsides. Croaky nodded in agreement, you're right, Squeaky. Life is filled with ups and downs, just like those ripples. But if we remember that the disturbances are temporary, we can find peace and tranquility within ourselves, just like the milk returning to stillness. The frog spent the entire day sitting by the milk Buddha, pondering over this profound realization. As the sun set and the stars emerged, they knew that they had learned something invaluable. The next morning, they decided to share their insight with the other animals in the village. They gathered all the animals near the milk Buddha and narrated the story of the ripples in the milk. They explained how challenges and difficulties were a part of life, just like the ripples that disrupted the milk's surface. However, with time and patience, the disturbances would fade away, and a sense of inner calmness would return. The animals listened intently, absorbing the wisdom that Squeaky and Croaky had to offer. From that day forward, the story of the two frogs and the milk Buddha became a source of inspiration for the villagers. Whenever someone faced adversity, they would remind themselves of the story and find solace in the knowledge that just like the ripples, even the most challenging moments would eventually pass. And so, the tale of Squeaky and Croaky's encounter with the Milk Buddha became a cherished parable in the village, teaching everyone the importance of resilience, patience, and finding inner peace amid life's trials and tribulations.